Today's news. Today's news. CBS News on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Peter King. Hamas has released the first of about 50 hostages it's held since the attack on Israel October 7th. Correspondent Holly Williams is in Tel Aviv. We have now seen video showing the 13 hostages released under the deal between Israel and Hamas being driven into Egypt in Red Cross vehicles from where they'll travel home to Israel. The military here says they'll then be flown by helicopter to hospitals where they'll finally be reunited with their families. Ten tie hostages and a Filipino national were also released, but they're not part of the deal. And Qatar's foreign ministry has just announced that Israel has released 39 Palestinian women and children for their part of the agreement. What about Americans being held by Hamas? CBS's Nancy Cordes has more. White House officials tell us their message to the families of any Anyone who is not part of this initial deal is that the administration is not going to let up and they do anticipate that a few Americans will be among those released in the next few days. Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar says Dublin City Center is safe a day after overnight riots triggered by the stabbing of three young children and a rumor that a foreign national was responsible. CBS's Rainy Innocencio. Ireland's police commissioner called the violence disgraceful and said far right groups were responsible. We have a complete lunatic hooligan faction uh, driven by far right uh, ideology. Sparking the chaos, several stabbings early Earlier in the day, of three young children and a woman who tried to stop their attacker. Doorbusters, bargain bonanzas, delicious deals, whatever you want to call them, they're all part of Black Friday. KYW's Vic Ragopathy is just outside Philadelphia. Folks up bright and early to get the best deals. All the hallmarks of the unofficial holiday season kick off on display at the King of Prussia Mall for Black Friday. Young shopper Natalie Clark was outside the door before the 6 a.m. opening, and not just for her own sake. For my grandpa, after my grandmother passed, she, he's been upset, so I always get I'm gonna get around Christmas because it was her favorite time of year. Retail analyst Burke Flickinger would look at where to find some of the best deals. Most of the great promotions will be at the supermarket chains, the wholesale clubs, and the super center chains uh, led by uh, Kroger, as well as Costco, Walmart, Target, and others. National Retail Federation projects a 3 to 4% spending increase over last year's holiday shopping. He said he killed his girlfriend because he thought she was an intruder. Now Blade Runner Oscar Pistorius has been granted parole after serving more than half his prison sentence for murder in South Africa. On Wall Street, the Dow is up 76 points. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye bye everybody. It's 55 degrees outside. <laughs>